friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking about the books I want to read this summer. So I am still coming back from my reading slump, still trying to work through it. My plan is to just pick a couple of books that kind of give me some silver vibes or like romancy vibes or just light reading vibes or just books that I've been really interested in for a while and feel like it's time for me to pick up. And so I've accumulated a couple of those and just decided that these are the books I'm going to try and focus on this summer while also giving me leeway to read whatever else I want to fit into that. So yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully this summer blesses me and I can get some actual reading done and not just slump and watch TV. Not that that's bad, but I just, I miss reading so much. The first book I have on this list is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've heard such good things about this book, so I definitely want to read it this summer because it's kind of like a summery book. It's definitely not a rom-com because I know it, it touches on some, I think, serious topics or it's a little bit more serious than a rom-com, but it's still a summer romance and I'm definitely excited for this. All right, the next two books I have on this list are Take a Hint, Danny Brown and Actor Age Eve Brown. Um, I've read Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and I really enjoyed it, so I want to read the next two in this trilogy and see what they're all about, see if I love them. Uh, they're definitely, like, light enough for me to give a chance, and hopefully I will enjoy them as much as I did Chloe Brown. Next, I want to try and read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I really love the movie, and so I really love this edition, too. I bought it recently, so I figured it's, it's time, because I have two editions now, it's time for me to read it. I'm super excited. This one is a little smaller than my other edition, so I think in my head it'll be less intimidating to get through, so I'm just really, really excited. Next, I have a book that was gifted to me by Erin from Booked and Busy, and it is Carry On by Rainbow Rural. I've heard such good things about this series, trilogy, whatever it's going to be, and I definitely want to give it a chance. I am definitely excited to check this out and see what all the hype is about, especially because I think the third book comes out in July. And so I'm probably not going to get caught up by then, but I don't know. It's still nice knowing that maybe I could. Maybe I'll like it enough that I'll binge both of them. Who knows? The next book I have is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welsh. I picked this up because I felt like it was going to be a really lighthearted, summery read. And I definitely need that right now. And I really am not traveling much this summer, I don't think. So why not read about someone who is traveling? This sounds like it's going to be kind of a cute read. I think it's about a girl who goes to Italy and there's a boy. <laughs> That's all I know, but I'm definitely excited to check it out. The next three books I have are a little bit more fantasy-ish than the other books I showed you, but um, the next book I have here is The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk. This has been on my list for a while because this cover is gorgeous, and my friend Kay really enjoyed it too, so I'm excited to check it out. It's a standalone fantasy as well, so I think that'll be helpful because I've been really diving into a lot of fantasy series lately, which isn't a bad thing, but I think that's been intimidating to me a little bit or maybe just hard because I'm trying to like speed read through them so I think putting a standalone fantasy into into the mix will definitely help me out. The next book I have on this list is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chaksky. I have had this on my shelf for a while too so I figured it's definitely time to check it out. I've heard good things and I don't really know what it's about and I kind of want to go in without knowing much anyways so I'm really really excited. And then the last book I'm going to try and read this summer is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I know I said I was going to do my year of Cassie Clare and I'm really really behind on that. This slump has really killed my vibe to be honest this year so far so yeah but maybe I'm hoping I can potentially get a jump start and just pick this up and go ahead and read it. It's the 10th anniversary edition too because it's so it's really pretty. I'm just hoping I can start this <laughs> and maybe follow through on this commitment that I somehow made. So those are the books I'm going to be trying to read this summer. Hopefully I can get through them and my slump will go away. I'm really excited because I heard such good things about all of these books and I think that some of them I'm really going to love. So yeah. 
If you liked the video, please go ahead and like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know what you are looking forward to reading this summer, whether it's an anticipated read or just a book that's been on your shelf for a while. I totally want to know. And you are all sunflowers and a world full of weeds. Thank you.